So here we're Ryan and Jimmy from the Pigeon Detectives, and um, we've got a few questions to ask you. This, I've got to admit, this is one of the interviews I've been looking forward to most. I've been waiting for this for about six months, so it's quite exciting to finally get you down on the couch and have a chat with you. So, what would you say is your best gig of the year so far? Uh, v Festival, pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. That, that were a big one for us, also a highlight of our summer. Yeah. Um, played Chelmsford and um, Stafford, so two massive gigs. Um, but we like touring ourselves, we like playing our own gigs. You know. I'd say Manchester the other day was yeah. probably one of the best. Um, it was one of the bigger gigs of the tour. And, um, Manchester, you know, we've always been into us. And, you know, they're big yeah. into music in Manchester, it's no secret. They you know, just really gig really kicked off. And, uh, uh, do you feel you have a better following up north rather than down south? Is there a difference in crowd? No, no, not yeah. necessarily for us. I mean, obviously we're northern lads, and like say Jimmy just mentioned, there, Manchester's always a great yeah. gig for us. Um, Leeds, of course, our hometown. But we just played um, Coco in London, um, which is a big venue, old venue, great, and that's that sold out, and that were that were an amazing gig, and. Um, and then we went to Portsmouth the day after and played a sold out gig on the south coast so, um, and that, that was really crazy as well so we get quite a, I guess a similar reception all over don't we really yeah. Who would you say is your favourite person to follow on Twitter because I know you but I know a few of you like to tweet quite a lot I know Matt's quite a, a keen tweeter so who would you say is your favourite people to follow um, Bob Martin has been quite amusing recently. I've always been in, yeah. like, into him and Vic Reeves and like, the randomness and found him quite amusing. Um, yeah, I like comedians are always funny because you, you just wake up or whatever and when you're looking for and you'll see a crazy Twitter comedian and it just makes you chuckle, which is quite <laughs> always amusing. Um, but I was just saying, that's actually, I use Twitter like a newspaper nowadays, just follow everything and then I'll wake up. Oh, there's like nothing you can't Eddie. find out, is yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything finds like out on Twitter. Your life, you, you, know, you learn from Twitter. It's bizarre, but yeah, it's where we all use Twitter quite a lot. Uh, if, you, if you do like Bob Moore, I highly recommend you follow him on the new app called Vine. Uh, the one with the little video. Oh, the video. Oh, yeah. He's on there as well. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, uh, we spent about 15 minutes this morning just laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite person on uh, Instagram is uh, Jared Followell, a you know, best player from Kingsley. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's, really he's He's nuts. <laughs> he's clinically nuts. He just puts really weird videos on because the Instagram do bizarre yeah. yeah. videos and he puts bizarre videos on it. He had that sloppy song on, didn't he? Yeah. Not on a vinyl player. Yeah. Yeah. He, was, he was filming that and it turned out and he was like... He was making himself cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bizarre. Uh, what music are you coming to listen to at the minute? What's on your life or something? Uh, me, I, I listen to a lot of new kind of alternative stuff, um, like Slay Bells, um, uh, it? Beach House, um, which are, you know, American, American like atmospheric, chilled out kind of thing. Um, what we all been to we, we, we listen to a mix, though. I mean, I just bought Dran Dran's album on vinyl yesterday. Actually, yeah. which was, right. I found it in an odd record store and I'm buying that. You won't so believe the game. amount of Dran Dran I've got at home. It's unreal. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got every single I've ever had on their albums and it's all been given to me by my dad. Yeah, so yeah. you can't really complain. Now we listen to a lot of like new stuff and, and old stuff. Like It's a real mix. The band, we've got a real mix of... Well, we're, we're all roughly like the same sort of thing, but like... Um, like Jimmy, Jimmy's quite into a lot of new stuff and with players and I'm like, oh, it's this gym. And like, oh, it's so, so. I'm like, oh, pretty good. So, uh, yeah, we try to keep up. But we all were there. We like to put classes on. Like, we watched a Michael Jackson documentary yeah. on Tall Bus of the Day, not really. You know, just yeah. like the making of Bad It One. Seeing as though we're in the home of a student, and we all know that the student's favourite food is pot noodle, which is your favourite pot noodle? I've had one of them since the Mine's a classic yeah. chicken and mushroom one. It's, it's got to be chicken and mushroom. The one in green pot. Yeah. Classic. They're all scrubbers for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have them regularly, but, <laughs> but when I did have them, all the beef and smile were pretty good. Probably. Well, until it got banned. Oh, it? it got pulled off, didn't it? Because of it's ingredients in it. Like that, yeah, there was something really dodgy in lack, it. Lack of real food. <laughs> I saw one. I saw one uh, recently, and I think it were a kebab flavour one or something. <laughs> 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 oh dear! Obviously aimed at 
drunk up and I was one of the drunk students. <laughs> Sorry, it was kebab or something. Like, like, lamb kebab, like, oh, kebab. Oh. <laughs> Uh, obviously you guys are from Leeds, uh, you've tried all the best bars in Leeds. What is your favourite place to drink in Leeds? Obviously we're not encouraging drinking heavily, just, you know, mildly intoxicated. It's been good recently, hasn't it? Really, yeah. really come to life with bars. Uh, there's quite a few new places in the last few months that have opened. Uh, we like that pit, don't we? It's just yeah. open, that's a pretty cool bar and restaurant. Um, yeah, it's great food. And uh, the bar's pretty cool. And, it's like up that, up that area, we quite like, like Mojo's Classic, we've been going there for years, and then you've got like Cellar Bar, North Bar, yeah. and you can go down to Trinity, a uh, bit bit more pretentious than some of the Trinity bars, yeah. but they're still really good bars, and, and Paul's oh, Landing down yeah. at the bottom, down at the bottom of town, that's, that's a really cool bar, it's been open a few years now. It's oh well, it's just yeah. a case of like, getting the right place that doesn't then turn into somewhere too crazy. Yeah. Like, every, when everyone starts going there, it gets yeah. a bit too wary. So it's just you lose it. Places. That one, same with Mojo, wasn't it? Mojo used to be really cool and now there's loads of people go there, so yeah. it's just kind of lost a bit of that vibe. Yeah, it's not so bad right now, but like, we used to concert hang out in Cold Lane, but yeah. that, that got, in my opinion, too, too popular for its own yeah. good, and then it's just absolutely rammed and they close roads off now, there's a police presence, and you just, that's not a chilled out night for me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I found that area last night because I went to Milo last night. Yeah. Uh, I used to work out actually before. Oh, Milo's cool. Yeah. I think I, I think I'm actually, I remember seeing Matt there because I don't I think anyone could recognise Matt when he's <laughs> Yeah. Well, we used to uh, hang out in Milo down again, to be fair. Yeah. Jack and that one. Neon Cactus is alright, that's not as. Yeah, Neon Cactus isn't in, too bad on Cold Lane as well. Yeah. yeah, John Newman turned up last night. Did he? Yeah, he's probably making an appearance. Uh, I left before then. Oh, really? He used to glass quite there, so. Did it? Yeah, so the first thing we made him do is uh, clean tables. <laughs> <laughs> Back down to earth. While singing. <laughs> so, is there anything you have to take on tour where you like, you know, like, as you go in, is there something you always pack? Like, um, I'd say, no, I wouldn't say a security blanket, but that thing that you always have to take with you. Like a, home a home comfort you have to take with you. Well, we've had a real lack of iPods on this tour. <laughs> One or two lads' iPods broke, Oliver's lost these. It's only been Jimmy's, and it's, um, that's normally always a must have, your iPod. Yeah. But um, like I say, we've had a few issues with iPods, so that's been a bit of a pain on this particular tour. But, um, we always make sure we've got decent sort of like films or sitcoms or whatever for the travelling, because yeah. there's so much travelling. Yeah. And on the tour bus, like, we've been watching that Louis C.K., have you have seen that? He's fantastic. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> and we've, we've literally watched like series one, two and three, you know, all the travelling we're doing and it's just, that's, that's quite a necessity to have good comedy on tour. Isn't it? A necessity, a necessity, a necessity. <laughs> for me now is um, then, then uh, rehydration sessions, you know, like diarrhea like things. Like, oh, yeah. I don't have like diarrhea, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you're drinking all the time, yeah. and you yeah. take them when you get off, you just... Under the stage lights, you just sweat and like mad. Yeah. yeah, you need them to be. I, I use that so. Makes you feel better when you wake up. On Substation Radio, uh, we do have a feature. It's called the Yasbo List, which is a Substation banning order. Basically, songs that we will refuse. Play. Yeah, so yeah. a listener or a band or whoever can like suggest a tune because they hate it for whatever reason and then we ban it off our playlist so it never gets played again. Um, the tunes on there go from the Cortinas, not 19 Forever, because uh, that's when Man United won the league last year, that's yeah, what they played. That's the theme tune. Oh, yeah, yeah um, just Justin Bieber, there's uh, Rick Astley on there, there's all sorts of random little tracks like that. Is there anything that you'd like to add to the Asbo list that should never ever be played again? And it, it can be genres. I think we had To Kill a King last week. They said anything with the club in it. So <laughs> <laughs> any song that has that lyric in it has, has been banned as well. Uh, anything by Chris Brown. He's a complete prick. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I, think, I think everyone can agree on that. Chris okay. Brown annoyed me because he was on that Michael Jackson documentary talking about Michael Jackson. I was like thinking you should be on it. <laughs> yeah, they're all <coughs> massive people. All like massive people. Mariah yeah. Carey and... Also, like Quincy Jones and yeah. stuff all chatting, obviously. Chris Brown's like, and, and there were Bieber as well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> like, Justin Bieber, you were 
it's still in your dad's nuts when Michael Jackson was <laughs> turning it up. You've just got to have no rights to be talking about Michael Jackson, you know. Jesse J, like, oh, yeah. Very, very annoying. Chris Brown. Chris, Chris Brown is Jesse J. Then. Chris Brown's maybe two cold calls. If you need one, I'd go for Jesse J. But if, you, if we can have two, one each. Yeah, we can have one each. Yeah. Jesse J and Chris Brown. Yeah. Cool. The feature on Reese's show that we did, and uh, we tweeted you this yesterday, is uh, Pi or Lie. So essentially, the rules of the game are we say a pie, and you have to tell us if it's a real pie, a pie. Oh, it's a fake pie, it's a lie. Right. And in honour of you guys this week, we've gone for Moroccan pigeon pie. Do you think that's a pie or a lie? I feel that probably is a pie. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so what if it's even a lie? So what if it's even a lie? What if it's even a lie? What if it's even a guess between you? We can't. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll have a bit of healthy competition. But in Morocco? Yeah, more, more or less in Morocco. Yeah, all of us. Do you want to reveal the answer? Do you want to run more? <laughs> and the uh, Moroccan pigeon pie is actually a pie. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so you guys get so you get to win a Fred Bentos just chicken pie. There's oh, no so pigeon in there. So we don't get a Moroccan no, chicken pie. No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, if you want us to make you one, we could do. But generally, people get Fred Bentos pies, and you can, you know, keep it in the no, cupboard. Perfect. Um, uh, I'll present you with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, there's, there's lots of chicken in there, yeah. lots of chicken in there. Oh, I think that's about it, guys. Thanks for your time. I'm looking forward to watching you tonight. Thank you. And that's it. Cheers. Cheers.